No way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Double bubble. Sometimes you just want to cut the crap when it comes to fishing and skip straight to the good part, which is exactly what today is all about. Let's pop the hook out of this. Like so. There we go. Simple blowback rig, which I didn't tie myself. Do I feel like I didn't earn this fish? Not at all. Just cut out the faff part, and that's exactly what today is all about. Coming fishing. Oh, actually, quite convenient. Got the lake to myself so far. I think that's because of the forecast. And within a few minutes, less than two minutes, getting the rod out, I have a prize already. Lovely mid double mirror. Gave a good scrap. And uh, yeah, what more can you want? So nothing technical today. Just a case of uh, showing you that you don't have to tie all your rigs yourself, whether that's because you don't like tying rigs, unable to tie rigs, or just haven't got much time. You can buy off the shelf rigs and get fishing very, very quickly and efficiently. So let's get this one back and hopefully have many, many more as the rain is just moving in. just filming some b-roll and it went off while I was filming slow-mo and that is fish number three on the same spot the same rig. I'll knock it, show you and stick you back and continue this fun. That's three fish in an hour. There we go. Same rig as the first fish, the second fish and the third fish. As you can see, still sharp. But that's going straight back out with a fresh bait on it. Same spot. Don't fix what ain't broken. Not even getting the chance to put the cameras on at the moment. But fish number four is in the net just there on the same rig. Madness. I gotta say, it's only on days like this where I start to question slightly my job, but uh, that's five fish now on the same rig, and I think I'm gonna have to sit the cameras away because I'm getting absolutely soaked, and so are the cameras, but proof's in the pudding. Five fish on one rig, and I haven't tied anything myself. Cannot lose. Well, the main camera's an hour away, but the phone camera isn't. <laughs> this is ridiculous, that one out about 10 seconds ago, turned around and it was off. Absolutely soaked. I realized I'm filming in portrait, this is a landscape video. Cameras can't take anymore, but this will be fish number six on the same rig. Get it in. Put the net in. Yep, that's number six, I believe, on the same rig. Oh, right. Deal with it in a second. I'll make sure there's no camera getting soaked, and that is. Yeah. While I wait for one of those to rattle off once again, which is pretty inevitable, another inevitability is that one of you can get your hands on a job lot of freebies of ready tied rigs from Nash. All you gotta do, pretty simple, is make sure you subscribe to us and subscribe to Nash's official YouTube channel and then comment on this video below with hashtag Carpology and hashtag Nash Tackle. And that's it, you're entered into a competition to win a job lot of ready tied rigs, which I'm glad I'm using today because the thought of tying up some new rigs in this is pretty grotty. It's grotty as it is. Anyway, back to fishing. Well, that was mad. The uh, rain has finally stopped for a second, although I'm under a tree at the moment, still getting absolutely soaked. So uh, phone had to come out, both cameras got absolutely soaked. 
It looks like I got away with it. The uh, little golf umbrella I brought with me today got blown off as I was playing that last fish. Didn't realise, and when I looked round, one of my lenses actually had a bit of a puddle of water in the lens hood, so hopefully <laughs> they're all good. But uh, I can't document it any raw, any more raw, if that's even a word, rawer. It's hard with a West Country accent, and it is. The fishing is absolutely mad, and uh, that's six fish now on the same rod, on the same rig. So uh, I know I keep on saying that same thing, but that's impressive stats for uh, one rig to be doing all of those, all the business. So the materials clearly are just as strong as if you tied them up yourself. Um, it says on the packet what the hook size is, whether the barb or barbless, and uh, what the material is. And this is, I think it's a semi-stiff, sort of silty color. And it's actually stripped back ever so slightly, about an inch from the hook, which is exactly how I fish anyway, which is why I opted for these rigs. It's very, very much the same as how I'd normally fish. And then it's just a blowback style, and each time the tubing's been blown back up, and the, it's, all the hook holes have been either a slap bang in the bottom lip or just into the corner. Six bites, six landed, so uh, you can't go wrong with that. So very, very impressed so far. So where I see these um, these rigs being uh, for, well, who I think these rigs are going to be for, are one, for people that just really can't be arsed with high rigs. It's not for everyone. I get quite a lot of enjoyment out of tying my own rigs, but I know that's not for everyone. Some people, that's the most frustrating part is having to tie up rigs and you really can't be bothered. So there's one uh, person that may be interested in these rigs. Another person is someone that actually struggles to tie rigs. So whether their fingers just don't work as well as they used to, or you've got sausage fingers like my boss, um, <laughs> you may struggle to tie up rigs. So yeah, there's another one. So some of these fiddly rigs, maybe uh, like the, the chothies with the slightly stiffer boom materials and the materials to make that can be quite fiddly to make. So if your fingers aren't quite up to it, then uh, that can be another reason why um, you can get around for it. Now there was a third reason I think for these, Speed and efficiency, that's the one. So if you don't like tying up loads as, to start with and uh, you don't really like doing them or do loads on a, on a session, session like this, say one of those hook points had dinged over and I didn't come prepared with loads of other rigs, let's get another one out of the packet and I know I'm good to go straight away. And there's actually a fourth person I think would be interested in these, is if you're not very much a, a visual learner when it comes to watching YouTube videos on how to tie rigs or whatever. So when it comes to something like the Choddy or the Ronnie rig or something, and you're more of a visual learner with something in your hands, you can buy a ready-made rig and maybe deconstruct it on how it's actually put together. So you can see what components are used, how it's tied together, and how the rig mechanics work. And there's probably, actually now I'm going and rattling them off, there's probably a fifth reason you go for a ready-tied rig, is some rigs require several different components. And if you're not sure on a rig you want to try it out first, then buy one of them and see how you get on with it before having to buy all the different components to tie up a couple of rigs that you then decide you don't like and you've wasted all those all your money and materials on uh, rigs that you're not going to use again. So buying a rig like a, a Ronnie if you've never used one before and you don't want to get different items for that, then just do that. Try it if you like it, then maybe look into uh, building your own or just stick with the ready tides. So I think there's lots of different people that would be interested in ready tied rigs. It's proved perfect for me today. I am someone that likes to tie my own rigs, so it's maybe not something I'd adopt into my own fishing, but I'd have absolutely no issues if I didn't have any stuff on me and I had some of these with me, I'd stick them out because clearly it's not held me back today. I was hoping that one would have gone off again whilst I was filming because it's been very, very active. And the one time I want it to go off again on camera, it doesn't. Ah well, stick this back on a tripod because I'm sure it's going to go off again. I want to catch as many takes on camera as I can. <laughs> well, it's the smallest one of the lot, but I make that number seven. On the blowback rig again, on the same spot. It's been two minutes since I've had a fish. What is going on? You can almost predict the bite. And it's no surprise I'm the only bugger air today in this weather. 
but <laughs> if you're prepared to get soaked to the bone and stand in the pouring rain when there's pretty much predictable bites like that, then uh, it is good fun. The only issue is I've got one lead left for this rod. Fish number eight. Now because that spot's going so well, I'll whip this one in. And not clipping up. Let's get it back out there. Oh, pretty sure that hit a fish on the way down. Oh, <laughs> double bubble, I told you. There you what, I have to quickly. Come on. What are you stuck on? Brooks are being the only one here, I can let that run a bit. And number nine. Whew, I have one lead left. Absolute carnage. <laughs> Cameras are now hidden once again under here. The second of the storms rolling through is here and uh, I've actually just released the second bite of that double take and put the rod straight back out. So my very last lead and hopefully we'll get fish number 10. I've kept fish number eight in the net to show you because that's a nice one, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Very raw video, this one, because I'm getting absolutely drenched and by myself trying to film everything. Rods are non stop going off, as you can see. I'm just getting absolutely soaked, but enjoying it nonetheless. And hopefully, that last rod will go off. And then when the rain passes, which is hopefully not very long, I'll get that one out, and hopefully, number 10 will be in the net as well. <laughs> Brilliant. This will be fish number 10 and my last lead. Better tighten that up. There we go. 10 fish in What's the time? It's now half past two. I got here at about 11. What a mad, mad few hours fishing. All on two rigs, both blowbacks, both ready tides. I'm gonna wait for this last bit of rain to blow over and I'll show you without dropping my phone in the lake. My, uh, the nicest one out of the last three of the stand. Well, the rain isn't easing up, so I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet. Hope that you stay, well, the camera stays dry enough. And uh, I can show you, this was fish number nine. He's been resting in the net for about 15 minutes, so he's uh, ready for another battle. There we are, pop the hook out. Cover him up quickly, to stop him from flapping around too much. There we go. Same, hopefully you can focus on my hand. Same blowback rig that I've been using all day. All fish have been on the blowback rig. Just a simple 50 mil bottom bake, exactly the same as what I'm feeding out there. And the bites have just kept on coming thick and fast. This one gave a good scrap, but it still beat me up on the mat. As you can probably tell, it's a small common. But they're fairly stocky, considering the, the average size has been fairly, well, sort of upper single, maybe stroking, stroking into the doubles. 
There we are. Feisty little common, and I, I'm quite certain I've caught this one before off the top because it's got a quite a distinctive two-tone coloration. Maybe not so much on that side. But as it's flipping, I'll show you the other side. And when it first popped up, I saw the sort of gnarly dorsal it's got and the two-tone coloration. This is the sort of fish that you would recognize. And as you can hear, the rain is getting heavier and heavier. There we go, one last look at him. So that's 10 fish all on the same rig. But I'm now out of leads and he's about to flip, so I'll pop him down. So a mega, mega session. So for more information, please do head over to the Nash Tackle website. Have a look at their whole range of really tied rigs. As I said, multiple times, all I've used today is the blowback rig because that's the one I tend to stick to in my personal fishing. But I've also got Ronnie rigs, uh, choddies, slip these. So do go have a look at them. This is a testament, two rigs, 10 fish, and most of them on one rig. So the materials are strong. They've caught me fish, no, no issues. So uh, no qualms of using them. As I said earlier, I prefer tying my own rigs just because that's how I am. But if you're uh, someone that doesn't like tying rigs, like the look of these rigs, then uh, get your hands on them. Camera's getting soaked, I'm soaked, he needs to go back. So uh, cheers for watching. Like the video if you did, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on all the social media platforms coming up at the bottom of your screen. And I think that's everything. See you again next time. So I go home and have a, an actual warm shower, I think. Oh, come on, buddy.